Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at yet another Vite figure, another of these brand new 2020 releases from Vite, and this is the re-release of the Werosaurus. However, this one is definitely sporting a new paint job. It's very similar to the previous paint job, and you'll see it once I get it out because you probably can't see it very well right now with the reflection, the glare from the window area of the box but the paint application is definitely quite similar to the previous release but i feel like it's much better on this one much nicer overall really nice tones of color used and a little bit of extra paint added to it as far as the overall appearance goes you're probably really going to like it i know i absolutely do but once we turn the box over there is another unbelievable image on the back oh man this one might actually be my favorite so far because that's such a really cool scene with the Werosaurus walking along by a body of water and you have some sauropods and some pterosaurs in the background there. Just an absolutely incredible image right there, just really taking you right back into the age of the dinosaurs and just kind of making you jump straight into that scene. Man, that is just absolutely insanely beautiful so let's go ahead get this figure out of the box right now and take a look at it so just like every one of the new figures we have a beautiful base this one actually sports the footprints on it yet again which i love absolutely love that in fact i'd be happy if every single one of these bases had that because it's such a really cool minor touch that just amps up the realism of the base and you can also see quite a bit of vegetation on this one as well similar to the zeziangosaurus you can see a lot of greenery here on the side and some really nice earthy areas over here as well as two spots of vegetation again which i love the added vegetation just really makes uh the entire thing look awesome it's kind of like the icing on the top of the cake i will say as far as that vegetation goes but then we also have our werosaurus itself and at this point you might be able to tell the new paint application on it if the light isn't horribly distracting with that glare coming off of the top but you could definitely see some significant difference i think the tone in general like the green the majority of the body that colored green is a little different than the previous release and then there's actually a lot more of that darker green that runs down from the back and it's kind of a different design compared to the way it was previously and there's also a nice spotting effect up there on the plates of the werosaurus that was not present on the previous release so just generally i think it looks a lot better here with this release and i was actually a big fan of the previous release but to give you a better idea of the new appearance of the figure let's go ahead and just get a closer look at it right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of the werosaurus look at that head sculpt it is gorgeous absolutely beautiful as far as that head sculpt goes the shape the detailing contained within everything looks incredible and the eye i love the way the eyes painted there's just a really nice area kind of bordering around the eye with a light brown and then you have the nice black eye with a white spot there to insinuate eye shine and it looks incredible as far as the way that's painted nice and meticulous as far as the actual application of the paint it's pretty much perfectly placed and then you can see the beak up here in the front of the animal really nicely painted with a brown coloration you can also see the nostrils are highlighted with a nice black and then you can also take note to how beautiful the head sculpt looks over on this side or at least you could if my camera would focus on it really beautiful overall nice texturing to the face and again you can see that area of the eye and how nicely painted that is with the nice light brown as you start to move back here into the neck you can actually see the very abundant amount of dark green that is appearing on the back of the neck and you can actually see it up here on the top of the head as well there's actually a really kind of like almost a metallic shine to the top of the figure which looks really really neat here in person but you can again see that there is a significant amount of darker green on this one in comparison to the previous release and as opposed to just kind of striping down in certain spots this actually kind of runs the top of the neck here as we move down into the body and you can also see the plates up here on the top of the neck and up onto the top of the back and everything of course have now like a spotting on it as opposed to the just kind of bordering the top that it had before like there was an area i think that the darker area kind of ran over the top 
of the plates on the previous release but there's just a lot more application of the paint up there and i really think the entire figure looks super striking now with the way it's painted and i love that they've used a nice reddish brown up here on the back of the animal for the plates and then a nice green because as you know if you have watched any of my stegosaur reviews previously if i happen to have a green stegosaur with reddish brown plates i love the coloration on it i think it just looks super cool super natural and it looks really good on this figure as well again really nice texturing to the animal as far as the skin texture goes and a ton of osteoderms pick up right here around the shoulder spike area and then run back here into the stomach region even up here onto the hip lots and lots of osteoderms or scoots whatever you'd like to call them coming down here into the front leg very nicely defined musculature it just generally looks like a very strong animal you've got a pretty nice looking foot sculpt down here nice painted nails with some brown against some more of that variation of like that darker green some lighter green and even a little bit of a lighter green that runs along here and then we transition to a white coloration here that is pretty much the entire underside of the animal coming up here into the shoulder spike you can see there's a really nice wash that's been added to make sure all the cracks and crevices of the shoulder spike pop and just really beautifully are on display and you can see it's kind of like a nice reddish brown and then transitions to like a kind of a darker brown or like a tan out here on the tip of the shoulder spike and I think it looks really good the way that's painted as well really nice skin texturing again here in the stomach region nice transition between the green to the white here on the underside and actually there's something that's really cool about this figure and it was something that I had only previously seen on the Tianxiaosaurus and you could see like a little hint of pink in certain spots on the underside creeping through so there's like a pinkish tone to the skin and a mixture of like that pink and white which I really really like and I think it looks good here on this one as well a really really cool touch just that alternate paint variation again giving it some really nice realistic tones of uh, the skin and just I love when companies do that it just really amps up the realism I think of the figure and coming back up here into the top of the figure you can see again lots of that dark green striping down spotting down and just designing all over the place so much more paint application to this one than the previous one and you can continue to see those spots and designs up there on the plates as we run back along the top of the animal really nice leg sculpt here on the rear leg beautiful detailing as far as like the texturing of the skin and then you can see a little brown variation down here on the foot the nails are painted once again with a brownish coloration here on the rear foot a dark brown and then coming up here into the tail you can see how nice that skin texture looks again some more phenomenal detailing and you can also pick up yet again on that mixture of like that pink and the white and how realistic that looks i really love that they've added that pink on the underside it looks super nice and then you can run out the length of the tail again lots more of that dark green kind of designing all over the place mixing beautifully and playing off of that lighter green really well and then you get out here to the thagomizers they as well are painted really nicely once again given that nice dark wash like we saw on the shoulder spike and you can see it's painted in a similar fashion where it has like a nice reddish brown that transitions nicely to like almost a tan on the tips of the thagomizers and then as we turn the figure over some more really nice detailing in the throat region you generally see the throat also some more of those areas of pink kind of creeping through a really nice smooth transition between that white to the green yet again and then some more areas of that darker green running down and leaking down from the top of the animal as well as it seems like a really nice dry brushing they've given it to bring the detail out quite nicely also and you can even see like some variations of brown like really light very subtle hints of brown popping up here and there in the paint application as well you can see this shoulder spike is beautifully painted just like the previous one there's actually a bend in it. it almost looks like the shoulder spike has been broken which is if that's actually done on purpose i don't know i don't know if that's just the figure that's kind of warped because it really doesn't seem like it if it's actually something that's meant to be that way on this new one and is kind of giving you the feeling of that shoulder spike being broken that is an incredibly cool touch but as we move down into the front leg you can see some more really nice muscle tone yet again displayed it generally looks like a really strong front leg like it probably would be really nice foot sculpt you can also see the nails are painted pretty nicely overall again using a nice dark brown like a burnt umber brown some more beautiful variation of that white and pink here in the stomach region some more really nice skin texturing as well and then you can really pick up on that kind of dry brushing right here actually in the stomach region with like a slightly darker shade of green bringing the detail out really beautifully 
You can see again those osteoderms picking up here, leading from the shoulder spike as we lead here into the hip. The osteoderms continue actually the entire length of the tail. You can see them run out the length of the tail as well. Very nice leg sculpt back here as well. As I turn it, you can really see how beautifully textured that leg is. Some nice muscle tone displayed in the calf yet again. And we have another really nice foot sculpt back here with a mixture of like a brown on the foot as well as that green. And you can actually see the brown is on the underside of the feet as well. And then we lead up here into the tail. You can kind of see the skin stretching off of the body as that leg is pulling forward. Some more phenomenal skin texturing going on with some nice mixtures of white and pink included. And then you have that really beautiful green. Very nice smooth transition in this area as well. Up into the green leading back into the end of the tail with the really nice thagomizers as well. And then the plates up here on the back also look really, really good. You don't have that spotting on the inside of the plates, but only on the outside. But I feel like that's something that would probably be just kind of like a display factor for the dinosaur. So it makes sense for it to appear on the outer area of the plates. And I think it looks really cool. Again, just adding that little extra amount of paint to it just makes it look super, super flashy. And overall, this is yet another incredible release from Vite. And I'm really psyched to see this one with a new paint scheme similar to the old one. So it kind of looks like it would be part of the same group, but new paint scheme regardless as far as quite a bit more added to it. And then the base is phenomenal, just like we had said when we first pulled it out. You can see the footprints yet again, and I love that the footprints are actually like elaborated with a darker brown, so they really stand out quite nicely overall. But then again, the base itself is really nicely done as far as like a really beautiful earthy texture to it. Lots of nice paint application added, many different variations of brown, some really nice dry brushing added to it in every area to make sure all of that detail pops in super realistic fashion. You can see another footprint over here running by the area of vegetation, actually another one up here. And then you can see once you actually get to the green area here, the really nice mossy area, again, lots of paint variation, lots of really nice darker and lighter greens, just like we had seen on the Zejangosaurus base. And I love this as well. Again, it just looks super, super nice. The sheer amount of paint application added to this, it is just unbelievably realistic and unbelievably well done. And then you have the vegetation, which also looks extremely nice. And I love that they use this style of vegetation as opposed to like plastic plants or something because it just really looks so much more realistic and this base is phenomenal, just like every single base has been so far. The Werasaurus as well is also phenomenal. So the two combined are super phenomenal, I guess, but yet another incredible Vitae release. As far as the size goes for a length, you are looking at roughly in the six and a half inch range or about 16 and a half centimeters, maybe somewhere close to that. As far as a height goes, about two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters, actually maybe seven and a half centimeters and closing in on three inches. It's hard to tell exactly from that little bit of a closer distance as I don't have it exactly on the base next to the Werasaurus. But for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Clovisaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Vitae Werasaurus. And you can see next to these figures, yet again, just like the last few, have a smaller size. But again, a picture perfect size, I feel like, for the species, the base, everything. It's nothing that's going to be overly large, take up too much room in your collection. So if you're like me, and you just have a ton of figures and no room, this is a great way to go about getting an incredible Werasaurus into your collection because it's something that's not going to take up too much room in your collection, but is also very highly detailed, beautifully painted, and overall extremely realistic. And just like we've done in the past few reviews, here are the two newer Vitae releases with the re-release of the Werasaurus. So if you happen to be an owner of the previous Werasaurus release, you'll have a good idea in comparison to these two newer figures what the size range is. Again, all of which are fantastic sized figures. So this brand new 2020 re-release of the Vitae Werasaurus is absolutely awesome. I don't think I'm ever going to say anything other than that as far as these Vitae figures go at this rate because every single one has just been a phenomenal release and definitely some of the best 2020 releases that we've had, which is crazy that they would all just pop up so close to the end of the year like this. 
but I'm really happy that they have because they just kind of made it in the nick of time and really threw me for a loop as far as their beauty goes. The sculpt is great. It was previously when it was released originally. I was a big fan of it back then. It is just as awesome now. And I think this new paint scheme that they've given it really kind of amps up the sculpt and really makes it look even better than it did previously because it just has a much more realistic look, I think, with more paint application added to it than what we previously had. There's a lot more nice dark greens that kind of lead down onto the body and then you have those areas on the plates that include a really nice spotting effect that it previously did not have and just generally some really nice variation with like some beautiful dry brushing of like a slightly alternate variation of green and then the underside sports a really nice mixture of like pinks and whites Again, just tons of really nice paint application, some of which was not present on the previous release. And then it actually has kind of like an almost a metallic shine to it in certain lights and has a pretty nice glossy appearance to it overall, which I think actually makes it look really nice. And it's not something I would normally like on a dinosaur figure as a glossy appearance, but they've managed to apply it in a very realistic way on this one and overall just kind of pulls you in and really makes you pay attention to the model due to its somewhat flashy appearance as far as the actual gloss look goes. But again, the dinosaur is incredible. Nice relaxed pose walking along. It looks like it's totally at ease like every one of these figures has been so far. And then you have the addition of a brand new base with your Werasaurus, and the base is phenomenal. Every single one of these bases from these new Vitae figures has been incredible. Really nice sculpt all over the place. There's just so much texture to the base and so much incredible paint application to the base. They've added so many different tones of color, so many different variations of browns and greens, and it just looks extremely realistic paint-wise. But then you have some fantastic sculpt as far as like footprints showing up, some beautiful vegetation. Overall, the base is just insanely, insanely awesome. So this, yet again, is another incredible release from Vitae. So if you would like to pick this up, and I highly recommend that you do, make sure you check the description, and I will have a link to where you can do just that. So make sure you order this beautiful Vitae Werasaurus. Make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.